Here we are. We're in Tawasson, BC. I uh, just gonna launch the jet ski here and test out my new GoPro uh, flotation device. Make sure I don't run it over. These are. I seen these on YouTube. They're everywhere on YouTube on how to build them. I'll leave a link below. I'm not going to bother going through that. Lots of other people have done it. Let's try it out. Testing my new float. How does it go? I think it's okay. I think it's okay. Um, we'll see what the footage looks like. I think the first somehow hit it. I was trying to jump over. That's when I hit the the shutter button. Oh, here it is. My floating tripod for the GoPro or any action camera. Um, thought this thing was awesome. Worked out really well. I made it a few inches wider than the DIY YouTube video I found. I thought that would give it a little more stabilization. Who knows if it did? I made a lot of waves with the jet ski, so either way it was really rocking around, but I think it still worked quite well. The only real issue I had was the uh, water droplets on the lens. I since found there's a few things I can do to prevent that, so I'll give that a try next time, see how it goes. But uh, I think everybody should try this out for jet skiing, for paddle boarding, Whatever, so many water sports, and you can even flip it upside down to uh, film underwater. But this is so many possibilities. So I think this is the perfect floating tripod for action cameras. All right, thanks for watching. Catch you later.